welcome back to my channel so this is my first ever like finals week in college i guess i kind of wanted to just vlog and maybe give some tips on how to get through finals week and show you guys like how i study how nervous i am and like let you know how my grades are doing like before and after finals and like all that type of stuff so here we are it is sunday night um it's 7:35. i um I've been studying since two o'clock, I think. Yeah, I've been studying since about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, that's five hours <laughs> that I've been studying Spanish. The way that testing at Ball State works is teachers have the choice to um, have their exams in class or like in a testing lab. So for my Spanish exam right now, I have to go to one of our testing labs on campus and what happens when you go to the testing lab is they take your ID, swipe your ID and tell you which seat to go to and then you go to that seat and you're at your own computer and um, it has like a lockdown browser on it so that you can't like cheat or anything and then you have to take it there while they have like monitors walking around like making sure that you're not cheating. So that is one option, that is how a couple of my finals are. Then the other option is to just take it in class um, with the teacher there and everything. That's how I think like my math final is because it's on paper and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm about to go to the testing lab and take my Spanish exam. So this will technically be my first actual like final of college. This one, I have the opportunity to take it any day up until Friday this week, but I kind of wanted to spread my finals out so I didn't take multiple ones on multiple days. So that's why I spent today studying for this one and I'm going to go take it. So my week I have planned out today or tomorrow was supposed to be my Spanish. Tuesday, I have my math, so I'm gonna study all day Tuesday. Wednesday, I have my biology. And then Thursday, I have my art history one in class. So that'll be from, I think like 12 to two. So that's exciting. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm like shaking right now because I know I'm about to go take my first one. Ooh. Okay, so I kind of want to like talk about each class before I go take the final and like give you an update on what my grade is right now and what I need to get on the final to keep the grade that I want. So right now in Spanish, I'm in Spanish 202. I have a 92%. If I can move that up to a 93, um, I will have like an A, but if I have a 92, it stays at an A minus, which isn't, it's not that bad. But an A like boosts my GPA just a little more than an A minus. Um, I still have some like homework that he has to put in. So after the homework, um, I could have an A after the final. I don't really know. Um, I'll see that after all of this goes down, but that's it for my Spanish. I am kind of vlogging a lot because I'm procrastinating going to the testing lab. So basically for studying wise for Spanish, I didn't really know how to study because like it all kind of builds up on itself. So I kind of just did all of the homework because we had some homework and it was like a review homework. So I did that and then um, I just went through the book. Here's our lovely book. They have like page. Ah. They have some nice pages in here that kind of also recap all of the grammar tenses and everything. So I've just been studying those and looking for the differences in those. I went through everything that he said was going to be on it and reviewed everything and did some examples. And I honestly, I don't even know what else to study at this point. So I think I'm just going to try my best. Obviously, I'm not looking my best. I got out of the shower a while ago and just threw my hair up. And then I just have some t-shirt and sweats on. Got to be comfortable. I'm going to start packing up and going to take this exam. Um, I'll hopefully give you like a recap of how I, it went afterwards, but if not, I'm sure I'll do it the next day. <sighs> okay, wish me good luck. <laughs> okay, so I'm just now getting done. It is 11.20. Um, I think I went into the testing lab around like 9.40, so that took me like over an hour. Um, I thought I aced it, but um, when I, the results popped up, I didn't do as great as I thought I did. I thought, I think I got like a 45 out of 75, and then when they add, when he adds the graded written response, which if I get all of those correct, I would have a 60 out of 75, but who knows if I'll get all that right. Um, so I think I should still keep an A in the class, but 
probably won't bring my grade up, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So that is it for tonight. I will see you again on, I think, Tuesday when I show So it's about 3 o'clock now, and I have to go take my final at 4.30. It's like an in-class one. It's not like cumulative of everything that we've done throughout the year, so I think that'll be nice. It'll just be kind of like, like an average test. Um, I calculated it and I think I have to get about a, like at least above a 37 out of 50 to be able to keep an A in the class. So to study for math, what I do is I go through all of our notes because she prints out notes and we go through those during class. So I go through all of my notes and I write down like the key parts of everything on a piece of paper. And after I do that, I print out all of the like assignments that we've done so far throughout the like throughout the chapter. So I just have all these different worksheets, which is all the homework that we've done pretty much. So I go through all of those and check myself and like just kind of like for practice. But this usually take me a while. I'm only like not even halfway through like working through all the assignments. But yeah, so I have about an hour until I have to go take that exam and then I will go take it and I'll tell you how I felt afterwards. But yeah, all right, I will see you later after I take the exam. I just got done. It wasn't actually all that bad. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, so that's pretty good. And she also offered like 10 points of extra credit at the end if you got them right, so hopefully I got all that right. So yeah, now that I'm done, I am going to get dinner with Keegan, so I will see you tomorrow with my biology final. <laughs> all right, so it's it's Wednesday and today I am taking my biology exam. So this is what I've been using to study. He gave us like a little stuff. <laughs> he gave us like this little study guide, so I've been just like answering. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, Keegan and I are in this class together. <laughs> we both need to study together, so that's what we've been doing, and that's why there are pencils flying across the screen. Anyways, so um he gave us a little study guide, I've been filling this out. We also had a review day in class, so that helped. Um, Keegan and I both need to improve on our scores to like make our grades go up, so we'll see. I think I need about an 85 out of 100, so we'll let you know at the end. <laughs> Alright, so just an afterwards update. I got an 82! I am so frustrated because I needed to get an 85 to like bring my grade from an A- minus to an A. <sighs> so... That's kind of disappointing. I'm hoping that he will curve it because then my grade would be like up to where it needs to be. If I can pull this off and bring that to an A and I can bring my math grade to an A, I will possibly end the semester with a 4.0, which is crazy. So that's what I'm aiming for. And that's why I was kind of like bummed that I was three points off of what I needed. Mm. All right, so next up is art history and I'm gonna study a little bit tonight and then probably more tomorrow and I'll take it tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Okay, so today is now Thursday and it's my last day of finals. So today I have my art history final and so that's what I'm studying for right now. Um, it's about 10 in the morning right now and then my final's at 12 and it's in class. So I have to go in class for that. I don't really know what to expect because it's normally like online and like in a testing lab. I calculated it and I literally need to get like a 69 out of 100 on this exam which shouldn't be too bad. I've gotten pretty high grades on the other ones, so it won't be too bad. Plus I get about nine points of extra credit added onto this exam. So I'm not stressing out too much about this one. Normally for like studying for art history exams, I will like go through our whole entire image list of all like the images of art that we're given. And I will do like flashcards of each individual one, even though there's like at least like 60 or something of them <laughs> so i'm not doing that this time i'm just kind of like reading through my notes and through the powerpoints that she gave us and then i'm just gonna go take it and hope for the best so here are all my notes and then we also like had like a in-class review session that we did a couple days ago so i have like the key points from all those and then i have like the pieces pulled up on my laptop and i'm kind of just like going through my notes as i'm going through all of you know everything. Keegan is also studying for art history right now. How's that going? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> if I get a 76, I keep it. Oh, there we go. Keegan and I both have our art history finals today, but we don't have the same teacher, so ours won't be the same. Okay, so we're gonna study and then go take the exam, and I'll let you know how it went afterwards. 
All right, so I just got done with art history. It was not that bad at all. There was only like 30 questions and she even offered more extra credit at the end. So it went pretty well, I think. I don't know the grade because it was on paper. So I probably won't know that by the end of this video. So that ends my finals week. Um, I'm not gonna be able to give you like a whole update on the end of my grades because like teachers don't have, to have the grades in until like at least a couple more weeks. So, and yeah, so that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching my like first finals week in college. Hopefully it gave you some studying tips or some type of beneficial knowledge. I don't know. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.